Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. If you're off and enjoying the holiday period, I hope you're having a good one. And if you're like me, I am away in my studio painting and I've got some great pieces to release in 2023. So this piece today is a commission and the client wanted me to use a round canvas and a burgundy base as a background. I'm using black, gold and white and I'm going to puddle those colours on my canvas and blow them out just using paint and water and this is using the Dutch pour technique. So I'm going to layer my base and get started. So like with any kind of canvas that I'm trying to get a consistent layer with, I start by puddling the paint in the middle and blowing out the paint from the middle to the edges. This gives me a really good idea on how much paint I'm using, the consistency of the paint. So that kind of first blow, you really know whether you've got your consistency spot on. And when I talk about that consistency, it's about the flow across the canvas using the air from the hairdryer. And then as I go, I can always add more paint to my base and then blow that paint out and across. And what I'm really looking for is a consistent layer of paint on my base. Now with a Dutch pour, it's really important to ensure that you've got enough paint on the canvas to allow the flow of the design when you're blowing it out. But one thing that I would say is just try and ensure that you get your base colour and your base consistency right. I always say that when you're doing this type of design, if you can get your base spot on, then the whole creation and the design will just flow really well. I really think getting that base coat down is a real kind of cons key consistency in ensuring that the piece that you design is going to work well when you blow out all your other colours. So I'm just taking some time. I'm not rushing this process. I'm literally here and now in this moment. So I'm really just focusing on the base colour and the base that I'm layering before I start thinking about the colours that I'm paddling on top. You can do this as a couple of stage process. So for this creation now, I ensured all my edges were covered by painting the canvas first. And then I'm just taking some time to really focus on that base colour and ensuring that the consistency of the paint on the base is good enough to create a piece using the Dutch pour method. Because I've only just recently mixed up my paints with just paint and water, I'm just going to use my torch to get rid of any air bubbles that are within the mixture. By using the torch I can eradicate those air bubbles. Okay, so let's start layering the paints. I'm going to start with black. So I'm going to have three puddles and I'm going to use black first. And then I'm going to layer all the other colours on top of those black puddles. So I'm going to take my gold and I'm literally aiming directly in the middle of each puddle. And I'm going to pour each colour in turn. I 
absolutely love these colour combinations and having that burgundy base is just wow. I really can't wait for you to see the results of this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit more black just in the middle of those puddles. So when I blow them out, it's going to kind of infuse and create some really great cells. I've got a little bit more of my base colour left over. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit more down on the base because that's going to really help with the flow. And what I mean by that is when I blow the, the paints out with the hairdryer, the flow across the base of the canvas is going to be helped by having extra paint to help the movement of the paint as it glides across the surface. I'm just going to get rid of the excess air bubbles and then we can start blowing the creation out and looking at the composition and perspective as we go. And that first kind of blow, when you look at how all those paints infuse with each other and some of the cell reactions start occurring, just take a moment to enjoy that because I really love the reaction it has with the paint. And look at these colours. This colour combination is just amazing. I love this palette so much. So the kind of final stage of this process is when you're looking at your pattern that you're creating, you can kind of step back and have a look at the overall composition of the piece itself. Have a look at some of those details. And when I do that, I'm really looking at the overall picture and the overall design. And I can tweak it as I go. You see that I decide to blow some of the edges off. But I also kind of leave some of the negative space so we can see that lovely, vibrant, burgundy colour. And that's what's going to help the overall perspective and composition. But when you're using your colours, and I know from experience this burgundy is going to dry a lot darker when it is dry just think about that kind of color palette balance when you're adding different colors together i'm going to take you in for a close-up so you can see some of the amazing details i absolutely love this Just look at some of these details and oh, I am really happy. If you could see me, you know me by now, I'd be doing my happy dance. But yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this colour palette and I love the overall design. And I really do enjoy looking at some of that negative space because sometimes negative space really enhances the pattern and the creation that you've designed. So I really hope you've enjoyed this one. So burgundy was a little bit different for me for a base colour. What other base colours do you think I should do? And what other colours do you think I should maybe use to create something similar to this one? I'd love to hear from you. I hope you're all well. I hope you're having a great holiday season. And I hope that you're enjoying your painting too. Thanks so much for all of your support. And I hope to see you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your week, everyone, and I'll leave you with some of the details in the close-ups. Take care. Bye.